Buongiorno e benvenuti, I'm Stephanie Smith from Liner Luxury Real Estate and I'm here today to show you this stunning farmstead in Val d'Orta. Check it out! In today's video, we will be surrounded by the wonders of Val d'Orta, a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 2004. We will be touring a Tuscan farmhouse with 35 hectares of land, featuring rows of vineyards and arable land. A cultural landscape of unique beauty frames this magnificent estate, capable of expressing all the authentic charm of Tuscany. This stunning boutique hotel has an internal surface of 700 square meters, which offers elegant common areas with fireplaces, dining areas, suites, and superior rooms. In a contemporary design, all furnished with fine furniture, offering exposed beams of restored antique wood and dream views over Valdorcha's countryside. About 35 hectares of land surround this luxury complex, offering magnificent views of typical Mediterranean nature. Five hectares are dedicated to vineyards that produce some extraordinary organic wines. Although currently a boutique hotel, this elegant estate is also ideal as a luxurious private home, enhanced by its large spaces and its intimate setting in the heart of Aldorcha. And now, let's take a closer look. Welcome to Val d'Orcia. The property that we are going to see today is surrounded by over 34 hectares of land, five of which are dedicated to vineyards. The vineyard features vines of Cabernet, Sauvignon and Merlot. In fact, the property produces three Rossi GT and also a Prosecco Rosé. The vines follow the slope of the hill and have a southwest position. That way, they receive all the necessary sunlight to grow properly. Also, from here, we have a breathtaking view over the surrounding countryside. I mean, just look at those gorgeous rolling hills. And from here, we also have a view over Montalcino. Apart from the five hectares of vineyard, the property is surrounded by over 20 hectares of arable land. The garden is embellished by a variety of trees such as olive trees, cypresses and this gorgeous oak tree right behind me. And framed between the cypress trees is a lovely lake that is not part of the property but definitely adds to the landscape. In front of me is a barrel which is cut in half and will become a jacuzzi tub so you can enjoy the bubbles and the landscape which is actually quite perfect because we are in wine country. From here we have a complete view over this ancient farmstead that was thoroughly renovated maintaining that elegant stone facade so typical of the Tuscan countryside. But now if you'll follow me let's go take a closer look. While approaching the farmstead, we encounter this lovely sitting area with adjacent gazebo with external dining area that look over the olive trees as well as the surrounding landscape. Right below is the property's private parking area. And speaking of landscape, I must say that is one thing that amazes me about this property. It has a breathtaking view on each side, ensuring the wow effect all around. The farmstead wraps around this internal court. Right here we have a space dedicated to a wood-burning pizza oven. The court has cotto tiles on the floors which highlight the beauty and charm of the stone facade. The space is completed by this lovely external dining area and we can connect to various rooms of the farmstead from here. We are accessing the property through the dining room, which has beautiful travertino floors and exposed wooden beam ceilings. The first thing that we notice is that the property has a more contemporary style inside. However, maintaining those original details that give it true character. 
From here, we can access both the internal court as well as the back of the property where we can enjoy the breathtaking view over the rolling hills of the surrounding nature that has a rich green color. The dining room is perfectly connected to the kitchen area where we have a professional stainless steel kitchen that can be used for any need. Also from there, we have a double access onto the internal courtyard and the back of the property. At the moment, the property is being used as a luxury bed and breakfast, but can however be transformed into a villa if one wanted. But we're not finished here, so if you follow me, let's go see the rest. On this floor, we have two bedrooms, each with their own ensuite bathroom, which are not accessible at the moment. Right here to my right is a guest bathroom that serves a floor with adjacent storage. From the hallway, we access this cozy living area that thanks to the minimalistic furnishings, it really brings out the materials, such as the travertino floors, the exposed wooden beam ceilings, and I want to point your attention to this piece of exposed stone wall, which is original to the villa. Isn't it gorgeous? From here, we can access the first bedroom with bathroom, as well as the stairs that will lead us to the first floor. We can immediately see a change in the materials used on the floors. From the travertino marble, we now pass the hardwood floors that give warmth to the space. The dim lighting in this room really gives it a relaxing atmosphere. And the minimal furnishing highlights this majestic fireplace that dominates the room. From here, we can access the outdoor staircase that leads us right down to the courtyard or to another three bedrooms. Now I want to show you my favorite too, so follow me. Here we are in this luxury suite. We immediately find this cozy lounge area that looks onto a freestanding bathtub and over the view of the vineyards. This space connects through this large arch to the bedroom area where we have a central California king size bed that looks onto the window so even when you're laying down you can enjoy the view. The bedroom has a triple exposure and it has an ensuite bathroom with lovely tiles that embellish the space and a rain shower. This floral accent wall with sage colors really highlights the pink out and makes it pop. And opposite to the central room is a second suite. As soon as we enter the room, the first thing we see is a spacious bathroom with a large window that looks onto the surrounding landscape with the green rolling hills. It has lovely tiles that embellish the space and a rain shower. Only a couple of steps lower is the actual bedroom, which has the finest finishes and a central California king size bed, which looks very comfortable. This room has a double exposure. On the one side, it looks onto the rolling hills and the green fields, while on the other, it looks down onto the internal courtyard. An interesting fact of this bedroom is that it actually has an independent access to the external staircase that leads us right down to the internal courtyard. So if one wanted, this bedroom could be completely independent. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed yourself as much as I did. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And on that note, I'm gonna leave you with a breathtaking view. Ciao.